Hi, this is Steve from Build Your Website. In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, web scripting. Uh, scripting makes your web pages dynamic. So, if you want to add such things like a date, time stamp, or a page counter to your web page, uh, which I don't actually recommend you do, but if you want to, then you'll need to use some kind of scripting. Now, there are two types of scripting that you'll encounter on the web they are client side scripting, so called because it's executed on the client machine i.e. your PC and in particular on the web browser and as such it's browser dependent. Now the most common scripting language used is JavaScript and it is supported by all of the major browsers uh, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome etc. Now you'll probably never write any JavaScript yourself but it's almost certain that you will actually add JavaScript code to your web pages um, common examples of that are Google Analytics and Google AdSense. So if you intend ad adding Google Analytics to your web pages, which I fully recommend, then you'll need to add some JavaScript and that JavaScript is supplied by Google. And if you intend monetizing your web pages with Google AdSense, and again, you'll need to add some JavaScript to those web pages. And again, it's supplied by Google. So you might not ever write it, but you will need to learn how to add it to your web pages. Now, server side scripts uh, are so called because they're executed on the server. And because of that, they're server dependent. So whether your server supports the particular scripting language depends on the type of server it is. Now, Linux server supports PHP, Perl, Ruby on Rails, and a lot of other different scripting languages. And the main scripting language used on the Windows servers is ASP Active Server Pages. So again, you'll probably never write any PHP or ASP scripts, but you need to be aware of the requirements. Um, for example, if you intend installing a WordPress blog, then you need to be aware that WordPress uses PHP and therefore you'll need to host the WordPress blog on a server that supports PHP, i.e. you'll need a, a Linux server. Okay, so let's just wrap up the video here uh, with a quick overview. Uh, scripting makes your web pages dynamic. Um, Client-side scripts run on the actual web browser. Uh, the most common one is JavaScript. Server-side scripts run on the web server and they're dependent on the type of web server. And common ones are PHP, Perl and Ruby on Rails. If you want to find more information about scripting, um, then you can take a look on the on the website. You can see the URL at the bottom, which goes into more detail on the different scripts, uh, types of script. And in particular, it goes into more detail about JavaScript and PHP. Until next time, bye.